Hello, my name is Mayor Blake, and today is Salamander Saturday. In this newsletter, we're going to be learning about salamanders and why newts are classified as salamanders. Let's get straight into the National Amphibian Conservation Center, where we'll learn about the salamanders. Salamander is the scientific name of amphibians with tails as adults. Axolotls are native to Lake Xochimilco in Mexico. They reach adulthood without metamorphosis, which means they don't venture to land and they stay aquatic with gills. A fun fact is that axolotls can regenerate parts of their body, like limbs. The Iberian ribbed newt is native to central and southern Iberian Peninsula and Morocco. It is the largest European newt species. The defense mechanism is when the newt gets upset or worried about a threat, it swings its ribs forward, increasing the angle to the spine by up to 50 degrees. The ribs go through its skin and sticks outside its body. The poison is a viscous, milky substance and it injects it into the mouth of the predator. This makes the predator not want to eat the newt and it can escape. The newt regenerates its skin. This month's spotlight is on the Japanese giant salamander. Here is their habitat at the Detroit Zoo National Amphibian Conservation Center. It is home to five salamanders that are 32 years old. They are Bob, Dieter, Sven, Hatsu, and Helga. These are the second largest salamanders in the world. They can grow up to 5 feet long and weigh up to 55 pounds. They have flat heads, elongated bodies, and broad tails. Their brown and black mottled skin provides camouflage against the bottom of streams and rivers. The body surface is covered with small warts. It has small eyes without eyelids, and its mouth extends across the width of its head. It can open it to the width of its body. The large skin folds on its neck increase its body surface area so it can intake more oxygen. It uses epidermal gas exchange that regulates carbon dioxide and oxygen exchange with the water. It breathes through its skin, similar to the hellbender in a previous newsletter. Japanese giant salamanders are found in fast-flowing mountain streams, and they live in habitats in large rivers and small headwater streams. The salamanders have a special sensory system covering its skin, called the lateral line system. There are sensory cells with hair-like shape that detect small vibrations in the environment, like movements, pressure gradients, and more. It's like the hairs in the inner ear of people. They use this feature to hunt for prey since they don't see very well. A fun fact is, when the Japanese giant salamander feels threatened, it can excrete a strong smelling, milky substance that smells like Japanese peppers. It's called the Big Pepper Fish. Thank you to Curator Blake for sharing facts about the different salamanders at the National Amphibian Conservation Center for Salamander Saturday. Thank you for coming with me on this adventure through the National Amphibian Conservation Center, where we learned about salamanders. Come back for the next newsletter, where we'll learn about another amazing amphibian. See you then!